This is uh, Leonard Cook from Cooksers Modeling, representing T.O.B. And you got Gary from Gary's Paint Booth, representing T.O.B. T.O.B., what does that stand for, Gary? Thinking out of the box. Thinking out of the box. Well, let's see what's in this box. This is the 1995 Batmobile from Batman Forever. Uh, actually, one of my favorite designs for the Batmobile. Uh, we'll, let's see what's in this box, Gary. Let's do a kit review. Yeah. All right. So, uh, oh, Click we definitely got ring. We definitely got all this chrome here. Looks like these are the wheels. Uh, those, those are solid pieces there. Oh, look, we got some decal. The decals go over on that. We're gonna have to really think about how to do that, Gary, because on the car it lights. The wheels light up. We're gonna have to. Think out of the box and, and see how what we can do to light those wheels up so we can get those decals going there. Um, so, um, and this looks like these are the inside engine parts. If you look on the car here. Uh, but we're going to have to strip all that off. That doesn't look right. That's just chrome. So Gary's going to actually do the painting and... The video on how to de-chrome. De-chrome and... Um, he's going to do the painting on this model, so uh, he's going to do this where he kind of talked about it's going to be a high gloss black. He's going to talk about all that and walk you through that as he does that. So uh, looks like we got, yep, the cockpit right there, um, the canopy there. I'm not sure what that part is yet, but uh, we'll figure that out. Um, oh, there's the rib cage. There's the main body of the car. Um, it's 124th scale, so it's, you know, pretty good size. We'll be able to definitely see through those uh, rib cage there. Um, if you can see the front, we'll have to do something with that front there. Uh, maybe carve some of that out and see what we can do to, to uh, give some life to that. Uh, this is, um, okay, so this is, oh, this is the, there we go. That's how the body's going to look. Uh, and of course, you know, the wheels not there. Yeah, we're gonna have to see what we can do to get some lights going uh, through that rib cage. Boy, we are definitely gonna have to think out of the box on this one, Gary. And, uh, we uh, will, we will on that part. Oh, it looks like there's some things on the side here on the bottom. Um, we'll see what we can do to, oh yeah, there's some, definitely something going on there we can, might be able to do something with get some light going on there let's see what's going on oh here's the uh, oh here's the plastic so we got the uh, the clear pieces there for the probably for the cockpit there uh, looks the like the, the uh, headlights yep that's what the headlights are yeah there for you yep. and um, let's see what else we got here we got the uh, couple things going on here Okay, this is the front end uh, that, of that rib cage there, um, and uh, the at the top there, that's where that that is. Well, these are those wings that go in the back. That's just a. Uh, those wings are going to be pretty cool back there. I'm not sure what that is. That's uh, going to be. Oh, you know what? I think that goes. Yep, yeah, it sure good. does. That goes... That's your dashboard. That, that's not really much of a dashboard, Gary. We're going to have to... Think out of the box. Yeah, we're going to have to think out of the box, see what we can do to make make that uh, we'll cockpit... We've got to T.O.B. it. Make that cockpit and dash look like it's a, worthy of a the, the Batmobile model there. Um, but uh, these are... Uh, okay, these are the side fenders for the... Uh, the wheels here for your front end and back end uh, looks like this is the back plating for your afterburner this is gonna fit uh, the wheels yeah um, we're gonna have to make sure we light up that that burner back there to make that look like it's you know firing off oh, these are those headlights that we saw those clear plastic pieces for so uh, we're gonna have to put some LED lights in there and make that light up and uh, but uh, there's, there's going to be some quite quite a sophisticated wiring there, um, so it looks like I don't have too much room. And uh, see what we have. Oh, these are 
Wow, these are big. Those are the back wing, the main back wings on the top. That that's it, this is 124 scale, but that wing goes way back there. That's uh, that's pretty significant. Of course, these are the wheel hubs and stuff. But um, yeah, we're gonna have to definitely do some work on this, Gary. And uh, oh, there's a the steering wheel. Not sure what those two pieces are. They're steering column. Oh yeah, maybe. You put those together, supporting the wheel. That goes up underneath the that da Yeah, we're gonna have to do something with that dash. But um, that's what's in this uh, back. Of course, you got the tires in there. But uh, that's what we got for this uh, model here, the 1995 Batmobile from uh, made by Ravel. And uh, we're, we'll see what we can do uh, with this. This. So uh, please stay tuned. We have a Facebook page now. It is called TOB Modeling, Thinking Out of the Box. You can find us on, on Facebook. So please look us up. Uh, and uh, we can need more people sharing their modeling tips. Uh, Gary's going to be doing some painting and modeling and painting tips. I'm going to definitely do some wiring and uh, doing some lights here on this. See if we can light all this up and get the, get the blue lighting up on that. And... I don't know how I'm going to do that, Gary, but I'm going to figure out something to light up those tires. That's just because those tires are all chrome, and that's a solid piece in there. I'm going to have to carve that out and see how we can put those decals on there to light that up. I'm going to have to work on that, but we'll see what we can do with this model, see how we can think outside of this box, because this is a... The 1995 Batmobile, and it's definitely worthy of our attention, Gary. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Well, you need to stay tuned. Same bat time. Same bat channel. This is Leonard from TOB. That is thinking outside the box. We're working with the 1995 Batmobile from the Batman Forever movie. Uh, it is made by Revell. And as you saw in the kit review, Gary was doing... Um, painting on it and he I got it back from he did a phenomenal job it's a high gloss black he did some sort of diamond coating gloss he'll talk to you about that um, and so he just did a phenomenal job we did some out of the box thinking already carved the front of that out because if you notice on the car that's carved out uh, with rib cage so I I did that out before he painted it so, and we also have these vents. If you look on underneath of those, those kind of vents, I actually carved those out and made holes. Now, I was going to put some blue chip lights in there, um, but Ebb's design actually has a uh, set of lights called the Night Rider lights, and they have uh, the Night Rider uh, red lights firing off in sequence. I gave them a call. And I asked them, hey, can you do these in blue? And not only did they custom make some blue Knight Rider lights, but they numbered them in sequence. They were really nice to talk to, just phenomenal customer service. And they custom made some lights. I got two sets, one for each side. And so those are going to be firing off with Knight Rider blue going back and forth. Just phenomenal. I do have my canopy here. I didn't smoke it out. I did some uh, blue styrene there. It's going to just add to those lights that I'm going to do. Um, Ebb's design also has a flickering firelight. It fires off and looks like fire. We're going to put that on the inside of that engine. A little um, little tip there is when you put that flickering firelight in there, you put a little uh, cotton in there. It really makes it animated like look. Now, I have... Um, also made a lot of progress in my, with my cockpit. Uh, I did some painting in there. Um, as in the side panels, that didn't come with the model. I did some. I did some scratch building there. Of course, the back of that has a bat symbol there. Now, I did some uh, fiber optic work. Let me turn this off and let me fire those up. Look at my cockpit. I augmented the right um, side of that with some additional computer 
uh, console um, from the some another uh, spare parts I had, and I light them up, and all my lights are firing off just fine. So that's going to be really good. Now, if you uh, see on the model, there's those lights on the side of the rib cage there. This is what I'm going to do. Ebb's design has these breathing blue lights. Look at that. And it's going to be on the inside of the rib cage firing off against those engine parts. And it just highlights them phenomenally. And they're breathing. Look at that. See that? Oh, it's going to really give some animated look to the model. Uh, and they're going to fit right in that rib cage. I got three or four of them. I'm also going to get some smaller ones. Um, and the front there is also going to be firing off with those breathing blue lights. It just It's not even that far away, and you can see that. It's just uh, really good. So we are really excited about what we're doing with this model um, from the cockpit to those breathing blue lights. I'm really excited to see how these Knight Rider blue custom lights that Ebb's Design did for me. Uh, so please stay tuned um, with, with us. Now we do have a Facebook group called TOB Modeling for model building enthusiasts. If you have tips or tricks on your uh, model building, whether it be paint, lights, or building, uh, please Post there, uh, go there, share or share your builds um, and share your kit reviews. Just be a part of the community. Uh, and we're also on YouTube. Find us on YouTube. Uh, we're TOB on YouTube, thinking outside the box. But uh, do stay tuned as we continue with this build of the 1995 Batmobile from Batman Forever, 125th scale from Ravel. Stay tuned, same bat time, same bat channel. This is Leonard from TOB, and we're working on the 1995 Batmobile from Batman Forever. The kit is 124th scale, built by Ravel, made by Ravel, uh, skill level 2. And uh, we are making progress on here. This is build part 2. And uh, so we're going to uh, do some things here and show you some progress that I made with this model. Uh, and we've installed some, uh, some things inside the model. And uh, one of the things that we did was uh, we, if you look on the front of that car, there's these, uh, this rib cage. It looks like some sort of blue mesh protecting that because that's the very front of his car along with of course the rib cage then there's no mesh or anything on the other part of the car but there is on that front and uh, one of the tips and tricks to putting in lights is using blue styrene now these are three ring binder folder clear but they come in different colors and look if you hold that up to your light that makes a different color you can get them in all they come in all different colors they're just a couple bucks from Walmart. Along with that, I got this fabric from Walmart. Uh, just a couple bucks. I got a whole yard, two yards of it. And it, look, it has a, it's a mesh type of fabric. Now, if I take took this and glued it to this styrene, I get that kind of look. And uh, that's just one uh, tip and trick you can do for thinking outside the box and uh, if you see see there's kind of a mesh type of look on that the other thing we're going to be doing I'm going to show you in this video because this is a video blog is to show you where I'm at with uh, installing uh, some of the lights and I'm going to turn my main light off here and I'm going to fire up that and I have my breathing blue lights on the side and on the front of the car, and look, it's breathing blue right through that green uh, blue mesh. And uh, they're firing off on both sides. Now, uh, I get my lights from Ebb's Design. They have, on their website, they have a Knight Rider set uh, of lights that flash back and forth red like the Knight Rider car. 
And so I called them up. This is a big shout out to them. I called them up and asked them if they can do that in blue because on the bottom, uh, you, yep, there it is. You can see those little vents. I put some blue styrene back there. Um, I think I pointed out also in the second build. Um, and what I'm going to do is I was going to put some chip lights there, but I called Ebbs to see if they can do some, uh, those Knight Rider lights in blue. And sure enough, they, they did that. And I'm going to show you them. I haven't installed them, but look at those. Aren't they pretty? Um, I was really impressed. I haven't put them in order yet. They actually did label them. That's what these are. Uh, tells you what number and sequence they are, but th those are just simply amazing. Uh, so big shout out to them, and I'm gonna I'm really excited about what that's gonna look like on the bottom uh, with those vents there. Uh, but uh, definitely making some good progress. It's coming out really nice. Uh, gonna be uh, a lot of lights on this model because uh, I have uh, some ideas for the tires too. Because if you look on the tires, and if you remember on the show, they light up, and so um, the kit came with these solid ones. And I hollowed those out, and it comes with decals, so I'm going to got some tips and tricks for that, too. I'm going to go over in my uh, other build, but uh, I'm definitely making progress in the 1995 Batmobile and uh, with my lights. And I'm going to put a flickering firelight in the back. Got my cockpit all done. I think you remember that from the second build. Haven't installed that. I'm going to uh, put these Knight Rider lights there. Um... And I just uh, was just really impressed. Those are just going to fire off real nice once I get them in order. But uh, stay tuned as we build the 1995 Batmobile. We are on TOB Modeling um, on Facebook. Come join us. Share your tips and tricks. And uh, definitely sh uh, comment. We are also on YouTube. So come and join the fun and be a part of the community, uh, especially if you're a model builder. But stay tuned, same bat time, same bat channel. This is Leonard from TOB. And you get Gary from Gary's Paint Booth. And we are the, the TOB brothers. brothers. Straight out of Vernon, Virginia. And Gary, what does TOB mean? Thinking out the box. Thinking outside the box. We do have a box here. This is the, the 1995 Batmobile. This is build three. Uh, Gary and I have been collaborating on this. Uh, we, uh, Gary painted this, and of course I'm putting it together and putting some lights in it. But um, we're going to talk a little bit about this build here because we're going to show you a couple things. Gary uh, took this model to his paint shop after I did some uh, additional carving up front. Uh, if you notice, that's the um, blue mesh that I was talking about in build 2. You go back and look at that. Uh, but we got the cockpit built on it, or put in it. I uh, haven't glued it all together yet, but put it together. Installed most of my lights. I'm missing the front headlights that's going to go over there. I'm missing my uh, light for the back exhaust that I haven't put on there. And, of course, these wheels here light up in the movie. And I'm going to get those to light up on this model here, too. But haven't quite done that yet, but we have installed some of these Gary, why don't you talk, and we also have to install the the fiery light for the uh, rocket boost engine that shoots that up to help it goes up that wall on, the, on that building. Don't know how they got that off the building, but but Gary, why don't you talk about the paint you did on this build? Okay, the paint on this is the Tamiya uh, gloss flat that ran zero paints, the diamond gloss clear. So he, there's no decals on this model, um, but if you notice, there is um, the engine parts on the inside of the rib cage. It was um, chrome. Yeah, it's, he he was all it was all chrome, and he dechromed that, and he painted those aluminum. What kind of aluminum did you use? Well, I used two different paints on um, mixing that aluminum together. I'll take you back to the paint booth and show you how to do it. But uh, those chrome parts that were chrome are all aluminum. He just did a great job. Look at that. Um, and we did some scratch building. Uh, Gary actually uh, had some inspiration. Had some scratch building uh, on the inside of the 
cockpit here and um, that's more to exactly what looks like the actual uh, car um, and of course we got some paint and um, we got the cockpit all together and we actually put it in there I haven't uh, paint uh, glued it yet but let me show you a couple of things we got some lights going on let me turn off this light here let me turn off this light here watch this look at there got the cockpit all lighting up I uh, augmented the uh, right side of that and I have these Knight Rider blue lights installed uh, Ev's design a big shout out to them again uh, they had those Knight Rider lights in red for the Knight Rider car I called them up, I asked them if they can custom make this in blue, and they did, and they gave me the number of the sequence in order, they tagged them for me, and they are just, <laughs> look fantastic, so another big shout out to Ebbs Design, I get all my lighting needs from them, uh, and it's firing off on both sides of the car, um, and I have the uh, breathing blue lights that Ebbs Ev Design has, and check them out, and uh, did some fiber optic work on that uh, inside of that cockpit, and everything's looking pretty good here. Again, I have some headlights here. Um, I have my exhaust uh, flickering fire light that Ev's Ev design has that's going to be flickering outside of that uh, exhaust right there, and we're going to put a little cotton in there. We talked about that a little bit. Putting a little cotton in there with this flickering fire light gives it a little animation, um, more realistic type of look. Gary's ideas also. Um, the other course is the the tires. We're gonna we are going to light those up. Um, I've drilled those out. They came with solid paste, but uh, we are making a lot of progress here uh, in the 1995 Batmobile. Just look at those Night Rider lights. Absolutely fabulous. And Ebb's design. Custom made these when I gave them a call. They were really nice. They have the best customer service. But uh, I'm really excited about how this is coming out. Especially how those... And it's firing off on both sides perfectly. And uh, it's absolutely stunning. It gives a lot of animation. I put some blue styrene like uh, in front of them to reduce the glare a little bit. I still need to play, place some of... Put those back in there. Um, and... Uh, so we're going to move those back in there so there's not direct uh, light. But it's illuminating off of those aluminum engine parts and creating like a shadow effect. See that? That's just absolutely fabulous. Gary did a good job at painting this. And we're making a lot of progress. So continue to join us as we build the 1995 Batmobile from Batman Forever. And uh, I got to say it, don't we, Gary? No. Continue to join us. Same bat time. Same bat channel. This is Leonard from TLB, and that is Thinking Outside of the Box. Uh, we're working on the 1995 Batmobile from Batman Forever. Uh, this is a build video. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, someone reached out to me in private messaging on how do I really figure out how to install the lights? And sometimes it's a trial and error. So if you notice on the car, these tires light up with the bat signal on there. So um, I wanted to be able to figure out how to do that. Now, if you remember in the kit review, these rims were a solid piece. They were all chrome. They had a solid. They were solid so they can fit these decals flush on there. To kind of give it an illusion that uh, well they're lighting up but I wanted them to actually light up so uh, the problem was is, of course I didn't have any room for my lights so I dremeled and hollowed out that uh, piece of styrene or that uh, rim in there and I have room for my chip lights those are the cool chip lights that uh, fit in there so uh, the next problem I had of course uh, I had to test fit it and I had to file uh, this part out uh, so it can fit on the uh, actual axle that it, or plastic axle that connects to the car. Um, 
but that's enough room I can fit in there. The trade-off, of course, is the wheels will not turn. But uh, hey, that's okay because I figured this out, and I'm going to tell you how I figured this out. So I have enough room now um, to actually put the uh, put the lights in there. Of course, the problem is, is now I have this hollow hole. Even though I have my the hole enough for my lights, I don't have something solid to put the decal on there, right? So I need something solid because I can't. I don't want the decal to go into the. So I tried a couple of things. Uh, the first thing I did was I needed something solid. So what I did was I took construction paper and I took the rim. And I got my stencil, and I found out the exact circumference uh, that fits over that. Uh, you know, maybe those classes in grade school and learning to use stencils and stuff actually paid off. Um, I wanted to create a template because I didn't want to use the uh, rims in case I don't want to definitely didn't want to mark that up or scratch that up. So then I cut that out in construction paper, and I got my little template. So. Then what I did was is I got some solid styrene. This is actually plastic from a, a actual face ma uh, shield mask. Um, I got a cu couple in when I ordered it. It's really good solid plastic, very clear. It's kind of thick, but it's not thick enough I can't cut. So that's what I did. And so the end result, of course, is I have a clear piece of styrene that will fit right over the top of that. Now the other thing, the second problem I had was how am I going to glue that piece of styrene on there without ruining the, uh, the rims because glue can mess up that paint. So I had this room here now for my lights but now I had something hollow. So what I did was I tried to cut uh, some, sp some sprue um, short enough where it would just pop up enough in the middle and maybe have enough room right at the tip to uh, to glue to that styrene and kind of hold it up, you know, um, like, a, like a top, you know. But um, the problem I came with is every time I cut into a sprue that close, it, it really pinched it together. Even when I tried to file the, the top, it wouldn't do, wouldn't really go flush enough, and I couldn't get it uniform enough for all of them. The other thing is I couldn't find the sprue. Even if this one, that one's pretty thicker, um, but it, it didn't really work because I uh, couldn't uh, cut it evenly enough, and it uh, wasn't working. So the other thing I did was uh, I went to the hobby store, and I found these motorized gear sets. Now inside these gear sets, there's these gear uh, uh, connection points you put on the actual rod, uh, and it has it's kind of a gear um, inside, and you see there's uh, there's a gear, but it was just enough height I can set in there to uh, right in the center. I super glued it so I can put that clear styrene right over that and it will hold that it will super glue it in the center hold that and I have my lights now here is the results of what happened um, of course this is the um, actual light those those little chip lights in there those are fixed now those are on the uh, uh, the chest you know the axle and uh, but now this doesn't have that styrene on there but this this does and um, the result is this. Yay! And now I have a clear surface that I can put my decal on and it will light up. Um, any glue smudges on the actual styrene holding that in place is going to be cut, cut up with the light and uh, be covered also with the decal. So that's going to light up. Now you don't really see that light up, but uh, when you take the decals off, put on that clear styrene it's going to light up just like what you see there uh, so I'm going through this process to tell you that you don't always know how it's <laughs> how to do things when before you do it 
you have some ideas, you throw things together. Uh, the other thing I did think about, I actually did try, was a thumbtack. But my thumbtack idea uh, didn't work because I cut off uh, the tip. And I thought if I put that in there, that will be enough to to uh, hold that in place. Now, it would because I would have enough. I can file that. That's enough surface. But when I tried to put that in there, um, I, I kind of broke a light. So it, it kind of punctured the... the uh, the wire and that you know to the point where it, I couldn't solder it back together I have to order another one but and uh, that was just also extremely hard even if I cut some of that off then it wouldn't be able to puncture right in there on top of the uh, the, the axle holding that on there so I didn't uh, I couldn't I couldn't go with the thumbtack but that gear set that that these little gears <laughs> uh, when you put them on the they just spin, but there's enough surface. They will uh, hold that styrene up there and enough room um, between there to hold my real thin chip lights, and you saw the results. So that's how we're going to do that. Now, the other thing, um, when, you do, when you do lights, make sure you, know, you have room for them, but sometimes you do have to do trial and error. Now, um, and that's... You have to just go with the flow and figure things out as you go sometimes. This is a sound module um, I am going to install into the back of this car right here. I've already test fitted it. It's going to fit. Uh, and, of course, after I put the car together, it is going to uh, hide all these wires. Uh, but I mix a sound file with the theme song and some Batman quotes and character quotes from the movie. Kind of man. It's your car, right? Chicks love the car. <laughs> you betcha. Put some quotes together. Uh, uh, thing for bats. That's a Warshack, Mr. Wayne. An in All the quotes are from the movie. You can hear the theme song starting. Can I persuade you to take a sandwich with you, sir? And, of course, the theme song really kicks up right there. Now, what's going to happen is, is um, I'm going to push the button here. Uh, I don't want to get in too much trouble, but the uh, sound module is going to play the entire theme song. And I have different quotes from the characters in the movie uh, in all throughout the theme song. So it's not completely... Uh, I mixed it. So that's going to just add to the uh, build. And uh, we are working again on the 1995 Batmobile. Now, we, TLB, Thinking Out of the Box Modeling, is on Facebook. Uh, please join us. Uh, share your tips and tricks on modeling, your builds, your kit reviews. Be a part of the community. Please comment, of course. Uh, we are also on YouTube. You can uh, comment on us and send me private messages. But uh, I wanted to kind of go over how the process is for putting in lights and sometimes you have to think uh, as you're going and do some trial and error but to continue to join us and stay tuned to this channel same bat time same bat channel Leonard from T.O.B. you get Gary's from Gary's Paint Booth and we are the T.O.B. Brothers. Brothers straight out of Renner, Virginia Gary what does T.O.B. mean? thinking outside this bat box thinking outside this bat box we do have a bat box here this is the 1995 Batmobile from Batman Forever and it is made by Revell and we did think outside this box uh, Gary and I collaborated on this build and we're going to talk about what we did because we did build this model. Alright, the paint on this is the Tamiya Gloss Black X7 with zero paints, diamond clear. The chrome was stripped with oven cleaner and it was painted with alkyd aluminum aircraft to take the toys to look away because we don't build toys. We just build styrene. Yes, we like we like the model that looks like a model, not like a toy. Now, the other thing is I do is when, when I signature moves is I always try to put a sound module in the car. And it's exactly what I did is I put a sound module in this car. 
And I mixed it with the Batman 95 Batman movie theme song and some quotes from the movie. We got his bat signal. Ah, you betcha. Uh, uh, thing for bats. That's a Rorschach, Mr. Wayne. An implant. People see what they want. I think the question would be, do you have a thing for bats? Can I persuade you to take a sandwich with you, sir? On your drive. We got breathing blue lights. We got those... Blue Knight Rider lights, we'll talk about that. Look at Zaus, the afterburner. So as you see, we got these breathing blue lights. So we had the light from underneath the car that thrusted up the car, so so it can shoot off the back the hook to go up the side of the wall. Don't know how they got it off there, but all my lights come from Ev, Ev's design, and they made these custom-made Night Rider lights. <laughs> Those are absolutely stunning. So another big shout out to them. I really could have pulled this off. Uh, without them, as far as that, and um, we also did some blue styrene instead of smoking that canopy out. But uh, this is how you can think outside this box uh, with the 1995 Batmobile. And, well, we built it. So this is the time, and this is the Bat Channel.